dignitaries of the day, ladies and gentlemen. Here we are deliberating on, I would say, very important subjects which impact us on a daily basis, impact our lives, whether you are in Goa, whether you are in India or all over the world. In fact, over the last two days, yesterday and today, I am sure the World Bank along with the other agencies who have signed a memorandum of understanding must have clearly envisaged what needs to be done, the extent of collaboration that has to be there and what is the way forward to see that this climate change which is affecting the day-to-day -day life, how to minimize the impact, how to prevent that, what are the steps that need to be taken to see that we reduce our carbon footprint. We must realize one thing. There were times when perhaps the developed countries at one point of time thought it was their privilege to get developed and yet not bother about climate change. The developing countries, the poor countries, well, had to strictly follow norms and I for one want to say what was the reality. Today, with the global melting and the changes that are taking place, we are, soon, we are realizing how soon the doomsday would be near. We talk of a rise in the water level in the oceans, in the waters. Why? Because the way we go about doing our things in day-to-day -day life, whether it is an individual, whether it is industry, whether it is those very things which take us to a high or having a very high level of development, but not bothered about how actually it is affecting our climate. In my own very state of Goa, I want to say, we were used to Monsoons for four or five months. We had good winters, we used to feel cold in December. We had summer months, April, May, and then the lovely rains come June up till September. Today, uh, earlier on, I want to also tell you, I used to say to my friends and the various social interactions, don't be surprised if we will have snow coming in December. People used to have a laugh. Today, we don't have the snow. But in interior of villages, we have sometimes had hailstorms where pieces of ice have been dropping in the villages. So much for climate change. We have had suddenly rains coming down, pouring at times when we never dreamt there could be rains in Goa. We have suddenly the atmosphere, atmosphere so hot humid as never before. So things are changing for us to realize with a direct impact on each one of us. When is it that we are actually going to contribute to saving our mother earth, to see that things don't happen in a manner that we would get natural disaster as a foregone conclusion impacting each one of us. That's why it is very heartening that the World Bank along with the other agencies who came together with all of you around are thinking of ways how to get this going. It cannot be only the concerned ministry doing this. It cannot be only the governments doing it. Each and everyone has to collaborate whether it is industry, whether it is our social groups, whether it is we as individuals the thinking has to change and change drastically. Taking responsibility on each one of us, we have to realize if we don't think of the future, not only we will be destroyed for the present, but we have and should have a concern for the future generations. What type of mother earth are we are going to leave for them? What is the type of nature that is going to be there. We have experienced good things as well. We are now 
noticing the changes taking place, but what will happen to the future generations if we continue as we are moving? That's why we need to give a very, very serious thought and merely not thoughts. We have to get going, we have to move forward, whether it is the governments, whether it is the World Bank, whether it is different agencies. Just as nowadays under CSR we are able to do so many things. Why is it done? Why is it permitted? Why is it the norm? Because you cannot expect only governments to raise the money and have the money and do everything. It needs collaborative effort. If only the haves, I would say, the rich people, the rich industry, which have enough at their disposal, with merely giving some small contributions in terms of CSR is not enough. They have to take responsibility. Certain amount of responsibility has to be fixed on them. The World Bank through its, I would say, influence over the world, try to persuade people, especially those who can do this, those type of things, to see that we act really contribute to saving our mother earth. And that is what should be uh, the, the first agenda before us at such conferences. I know government of Goa has been working in various ways. In fact, my Honorable Chief Minister as well as others must have announced today what we are doing. Sustainable growth, how to sustain ourselves in a small state. Sometimes, and, and I think as I was uh, speaking a little earlier, Goa perhaps can be the best example where the World Bank, where all the agencies went, can showcase. In this small, tiny state, this is what we have done. It is the ideal example of moving against the climate change, of doing things, building up the nature, building up the ecosystems, which otherwise we are almost destroyed. This is one place where you can showcase that. As an example to the rest of the country and rest of the world perhaps, you can start from here. It's not that because it is my state that I'm telling you, but here would be a classic example because we are small in size and small is beautiful. Make it beautiful because we are blessed by nature. We are blessed with everything. But sometimes we think going haywire in such a manner that we wonder whether it remains the same. Let me be honest. It is there where all of you have to step in. And mere legislations or mere directives are not enough. We should think out of the box, devise ways where every citizen feels like contributing, feels like doing something, his might in the great task of saving our earth, saving our nature, saving our world for a better future for the future generation. This is what we have to be the new thinking. And I think World Bank, because world means it uh, obviously is the entire world. When you are there at that level, it is from you all that a direction of a different nature has to come. Merely having conferences, just issuing circulars, literature is not going to do that. We should see something happening on the ground. And this something happening on the ground, let Goa be a classic example. I am sure you all will take the lead. And with all of you so concerned about what is happening in the world as far as climate change is concerned, I think it is but natural that you have a good mindset to really work towards that. Just think of it. If you have the glaciers melting, if you have the water levels to rise, my own example, we have our Miramar beach here, we have various beaches, all will disappear in a GP if the water levels rise. In fact, there is a prediction after 50 years, it is going to happen. There are, there are uh, people who are saying it already. Are we not going to prevent it? Can we not take those steps which could perhaps help to conserve the beaches and see that these water levels don't rise? Yes, it has to be a concerted effort at every level. It is only then we can work towards betterment of humanity. We must realize ultimately, as our Honorable Prime Minister say, one earth, one sun and all that. We are all one ultimately. We are all humans. We have to think the whole world as one. We have to think the whole country as one. We have to think and work for each other. It is only then you will be practically be able 
to reach those levels where at least you would be satisfied. I have done my bit to conserve the world, to conserve nature, to see it going away from disaster. Each one of us, once we contribute, in some total it is going to be something really strong and worthwhile. It is only then we can save our world. And this is what I am sure what you have deliberated in last two days is actually going to crucify into real action, action in this small state of Goa, which all of you perhaps uh, would be very kind to note and actually see it happening in front of you. Of course, my state would be a beneficiary being Goa and being our state that you would be doing it first, but at least let's have an example. So let Goa truly be an example. I am sure my Honourable Chief Minister and the others must have promised you as much help as possible. We certainly would be collaborating partners. We would be all. We would do all that is necessary to save and preserve nature in its pristine glory. What Goa has actually been blessed with. If you contribute, if we contribute, if all of us collaborate, it would be a different place to live on. And Goa, as it is, the most preferred tourist destination, one of the best places to work. That's how you have people coming all over the world. The other day, by my side, not knowing me, I had an American sitting by the side. Of course, she's an Indian who settled there, become an American citizen. And she had this to say to her colleague, my son has told me, the only place where you should have it, have a second home is Goa. I want, I am going to Goa to see a place for me. This is the thing as far as Goa is concerned. So that's why I am saying for more reasons than one, more reasons than one, we should conserve this place, keep it beautiful, do all that is necessary and by your collaborative effort, let us maintain it as, as one of the best places, showcase it as one place where all of us have worked together and kept it as it is or even made, made, made it more pristine and more glorious. This is what I hope will be the message from this uh, particular uh, climate change conference. I am sure we deeply as good humans are as deeply concerned as anyone else. Let us work towards that. Let us collaborate. Let us really contribute to the great task of saving our mother earth, of saving ourselves from disaster, of having a small thought, a beautiful thought for the future generations. Let us think about them, the future generations that are going to come, the future births that are going to place, whether we will leave something for them, what is pristine, what is glorious, mother nature, what has given us, whether we will think about them, leave something for them, our thoughts should actually convey it in real action. With this, I once again thank you for inviting me and I am sure this particular conference is going to go a long way, a very long way in really getting something done for our beautiful state, in formulating those plans for the future of our country's environment, our world environment, for humanity, for the good of everyone. Thank you very much indeed.